Oh, you can blink all you want. Oh, God. Hey guys, it's Sabrina Claudio, and I'm here with my very good friend and very talented makeup artist, Marla <laughs> Vasquez. So we thought it'd be fun to do a series of videos where we recreate some of our favorite looks that we've done from past music videos. If you didn't know, Marla is the reason for this beat and many of the beats that we've <laughs> done before. So we thought we would start the first video with doing Unravel Me. So I'm just gonna sit here and look cute and probably talk a little too much while Marla takes you step by step to show you how to get the look for Unravel Me. I've prepped her skin already, just because I didn't think you guys want to see that, but I used the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And then I follow her with the MAC Strobe Cream, because we're going for a pretty glowy look today. We glow. Okay, so I put the strobe cream on the high points of her face just to give it a little extra oomph when I put on her foundation. Now I'm going to prep her eyes. I'm just gonna use an eyeshadow primer. You can use any one you want. You can even use concealer, but I'm using the MAC 24 hour base. All right, now I'm going to move on to her base. And Miss Sabrina, I mix Dior Forever Glow and Cogendo Aqua Foundation for extra Hello. Everyone thinks we're boring. <laughs> There's no such thing, okay? We're we are not We're boring. chill vibes. We're not boring. What are we supposed to do? Twerk? I could do that too. <laughs> so I'm gonna lay the base down. And it's kind of a rough lay down. And then bring it down her neck. And I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and just press it into the skin. Is someone raking the damn sidewalk? <laughs> You hear that? <laughs> My lord. See, these eyebrows that you about to do are the ones I tried to emulate <laughs> and fail miserably at, so. Yeah, but now you can watch this tutorial. You know what, matter of fact, cut this out. This is just for her. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Marla, can I just say something? Keep yeah. going, keep yeah. doing you. You know, it takes a lot for you to give away your secret. <laughs> and I wanna thank you. I first start with assessing the brow. I brush her brow hairs up. And I start actually kind of midway and I start doing hair-like motions and take it out. And it may feel like I'm not doing anything, but as you keep going, less is more, you'll start to see the shape come to life. I might just fall asleep. Good. Shh. <laughs> Imagine sleeping. Okay, so now that we have the base going, I like to go in with a micro filling pen. Basically, it's a liquid pen and it is a little bit lighter than the powder and it just gives even more realistic hair vibes. Boom. Okay, now I'm going to set the brows. I actually like using a blonde eyebrow gel an ashy blonde eyebrow gel to give some dimension. You're such a YouTuber. I know. <laughs> Could not have picked a noisier place. I like to take whatever setting powder I'm using that day, which let's just say it's this one for right now. I take this guy and I brush it <laughs> all over her lid. And this is just gonna get me a nice base so when I'm blending, I'm not blending into her foundation or her eyeshadow primer, I'm blending powder over powder so it's like a nice soft effect. I'm trying to see which color I want to oh, do. Oh, going to open your eye, look at the camera, and just see, oh. yeah, yeah, just see wherever your crease is, you want to like amplify it or start there so you can close your eyes. So now I know. I'm gonna take this, a fluffy brush. This is a Morphe 456. And what this is doing is it's going to define your eye without adding like too much color, if that makes sense. Now we're going to move on and we're gonna go maybe like two shades darker. I'm going for a warmer tone 
You could go more neutral, but I'm gonna go a little bit warmer. And I'm just gonna pop this from, <laughs> look straight ahead. What's in your mouth? I don't know, I think it's a piece of your brush hair. Go like this. I don't see it. I'm embarrassed, stop looking at my tongue. <laughs> you know that challenge, they say like to stick your tongue out, see if it moves or stays still? It just moves. It, it is? <laughs> I don't feel it moving. Let me see, let me see. It's, it's not moving, you're alert. You just shake you're alert. It's nervous. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the darker color and I'm just going to place that from the outer corner to the middle of her crease. So now I'm gonna take a dark brown eyeliner. This oh is Matte Costa Riche. I'm not gonna put it in your eye. Oh. I'm gonna put it um down. So close your eyes for me. I'm gonna put it on the base of her eyelid and you can be messy with it because we're just gonna blend it out. So I kind of stop like so. Take a brush, blend it. I like to do side to side and then when you get to the corner here, you just pull it out. What funny memories do we have from Unravel Me set? Well, first of all. First of all, who knew butterflies wanted to fly so damn bad? <laughs> If you saw the full shot of the set, it was like six butterflies on you, 30 <laughs> butterflies in the air. My manager, Niall, I don't know where he got this net from. He looked like SpongeBob <laughs> running down jellyfish fields, okay? Yeah. So then I was in my white dress on the chair, I think. I have like the butterflies on me. And then in the background behind the director <laughs> is Niall, my manager, just jumping around everywhere trying to get the day. I'm here trying to be sensual and behind, <laughs> behind the director and I was like. <laughs> I remember, first of all, somebody stepped on the dress. Oh the my God! Big old, big old black footprint just. <laughs> And oh I remember my God. I was doing your makeup and someone stepped on the dress and I just remember being like, oh my God. <laughs> you played it off really well, but I could tell deep down you were like, <laughs> and especially now that I know you, I yeah. know you were probably like freaking out. Oh, let's also talk about how I almost died on set. <laughs> oh yes. So I'm sitting there on the chair, you know, there's a chair scene, I'm just laying there. All I do is lay around. I'm laying there. Thank God I didn't have any butterflies on me, girl. <laughs> that would've been bad. But anyways, I was laying there and suddenly I went black. My vision <laughs> went black. And it was because the camera fell right, right on, on my head. face. Oh, the whole face. Oh, my face. I thought it was just your forehead. No. <laughs> well, both, like right here. I think you even had to like touch up my face because it was so yeah, like. Yeah, I remember that. I remember but how did I react? Let the world know you how your girl say, reacts. You didn't say anything. You just were like, ow. You know, the naked thing, for those who don't know, the naked thing was very <laughs> Im Im impromptu, oh, impulsive. Yeah. Yeah, Which, what's both, the word? Both. Both of them. This was not on the treatment whatsoever. This was not it was a not plan. was not discussed. Sasha was like, how do you feel about getting naked and laying in a bed of flour? Uh, did I even think twice? Did I hesitate? I don't you remember. Did, you did hesitate for like a second. And I think before you even said yes, I was already like rubbing stuff <laughs> yeah. all over. So I wasn't afraid of getting naked because I'm pretty comfortable in my skin. What I was afraid of was my father. <laughs> I remember that. I was like, first of all, I was just butt booty naked, literally. So as I'm laying there in the bed of flour, literally, flour that you cook with, and flowers, I'm there, I'm trying to be, you know, sensual and all that, but in my head, I better enjoy this because I'm gonna die. <laughs> my dad is gonna kill me. I'm an I was an adult at this point. I'm like 20. Okay, I can't drink, but I'm an adult. I'm legal in yeah. most things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know if it's a Hispanic thing. Like we just like never grow out of like being a, the child. No. I wasn't worried about my mom because my mom's like Chris Jenner. <laughs> She's like, you're doing amazing, sweetie. Like that kind of mom. So I wasn't worried about my mom or anybody yeah, else. Was I was just worried dad. about my dad. I always show my family like the videos before they come out. I was like showing them the video. I didn't, you didn't say I anything. Didn't or no disclaimer, I don't think. And he so liked it. He said he, he did, yeah. loved it. He was like, it's so beautiful and artistic and timeless and, and tasteful. I was like, <gasps> and I've been naked ever since, girl. Yeah. <laughs> So I go out of order, but today I'm going to finish the rest of her. That's got to be from in here, right? I'm going to go in with Bobbi Brown Corrector and Peach and Bisque. I'm going to pop it right over 
I'm just gonna pop, lock and drop it. The sleepy, sleepy. What are you trying to say? Just say it. <laughs> just say it. <laughs> What's, I'm trying to think no, of no, a, cute, a cute word for under eye. <laughs> So I just put a little bit of corrector under her eyes and now I'm going to conceal. I'm just gonna press this right here, kind of just creating a little baby triangle and then I'm going to add it to the corner here. So now I'm going to take um, some more concealer and I'm just going to highlight her face. So I'm going to add some in here. I'm gonna add some under here. So then the next thing I like to do is I like to add more foundation and I take my beauty blender and I just saturate the product into the beauty blender and then I pounce it over the areas that need a little bit more love. So that's why I go in super light in the beginning. So that way you still have a skin-like look. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and set your under eyes. I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna very lightly press her underneath. And when you do this, you wanna make sure that it's super blended out, otherwise you're gonna have, it's gonna set the way it looks, and if it's not blended, it's gonna look cakey. All right, so moving on, I'm gonna finish the eye. I have a little bit of powder under her eye, so that way if I get a little bit of fallout, it'll just all brush away when I'm done. So I take the same color that I use in your crease, and I'm gonna put that under your eye and we go kind of heavy with her. And now, I'm gonna take the darker brown, mix it in with a little bit of this one, and just do the outer corner. When I find people that I love to work with, like you, my stylist, my hair, the reason I usually stick with them is just because I literally don't look in the mirror until they're done. They just know what they're doing, so. I really appreciate that. You know what, you it puts the pressure are on. an artist. And your art deserves to be broadcasted to the world, <laughs> so I'm not gonna be there. First of all, I don't even know what I'm talking about in the first place, so why am I gonna be guiding you, telling you? Oh, I don't want that. Okay, so I just popped on some individual lashes. Look at it, gorgeous. And now I'm going to move on to the rest of her complexion. I'm gonna take Chanel Soleil Tan. And I'm going to contour her with bronzer. So I'm gonna start off and just pounce this product right on her cheekbone and a little bit above it. And the reason I go a little bit above it is to give her the bronze look. Now I'm going to take a cream blush. This is the Dusk Cloud Paint from Glossier. And I'm just gonna pop that right where her cheekbones are and just marry it in with the bronzer I applied. Moving on to the glow. I'm using Sunbeam Tint from Benefit and a fluffy brush. I'm gonna pop that right on her cheekbones. Go like glow bar. The point of the, the highlighter is we want it to, to catch the light, but I don't want it to look like you have, like you look like a glazed donut. What's wrong with look like a glazed donut? I mean, I like Krispy Kreme. All right, so I'm gonna take that same liquid highlighter and I'm gonna take a tiny brush and I'm gonna place that right in the inner corner of her eye. And then if you really wanna snatch it up just a little bit more, I take a lighter foundation or concealer, whatever you have, and I reverse contour. I'm just gonna take it, cut the cheekbone and blend it out. See? Gorgeous. I'm gonna take Strip Down from MAC and I'm going to line her lips. I like to overdraw them just a little bit up top, right here. But then I go back down to her normal um, lip line. So I'm gonna fill in most of her lip with the Strip Down. And now I'm going to use NYX Lip Cream in London. I love this product because it's matte, but it's still, um, it's more like a suede, so you can still move your lips. They don't feel like they're dried down. I'm gonna take Melt Edible Lip Liner. It's really dark brown, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that NYX and blend them together. Let me see, let me see. Let me set this up. 
You see this? I'm not even spraying her. Literally, you're not spraying me. <laughs> it's like, okay, babe. And this is the final Unravel look. me. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the final Unravel Me look. I hope it was very educational for you. It was quite educational for me. I'll probably retain zero of the information and I'll still <laughs> not know how to do my makeup. But we hope you enjoyed. Let us know what other music video look you want us to recreate and we might just do it because this was kind of fun. Yeah. Anyways, thank you, Martha. You're welcome. I love you. Okay, <laughs> bye guys. <laughs>